Okay, welcome back to Economics. This is Dr. Kling, and today's topic is the income elasticity of demand. It's a very brief and easy topic. It is the percent change, that delta means change, in the quantity demanded divided by the percent change in income. So <coughs> if you're um, income goes up by 10% and you increase your demand for a particular type of good by 16%, then, so this is your income change and this is the quantity demanded, we would say the elasticity is the 16 over 10 equals 1.6. And over long periods of time, that's the elasticity of demand for services like health care and education, whereas the long-term income elasticity for goods is only about 0 0.6. So for things like appliances, refrigerators, things like that, the elasticity is low, and for services it's high, and that's why we're as we've gotten richer, we've become more and more of a service economy, and that's really a lot of consequences to that. Okay, so when we uh, w <coughs> think about this in terms of in uh, basic economics, we we have some interesting boundaries. I'll call this um, what do I call this? I'll just I'll I'll call this I'll just call, spell it out income elasticity of demand and when it's <coughs> less than zero we say it is an inferior good so how can that happen if your if your income goes up you'll actually consume less of some things like maybe uh, you know, lousy canned food will be would be an inferior good, or uh, very low quality automobiles or used automobiles might be an inferior good. That is, as your income goes up, you actually reduce your consumption of those things. Um, between zero and one, we'd say a normal good. That is, you, as your income goes up, you consume more of it, but you don't consume a dram you're, a dram dramatically more of it. So if your income went, so in the example here of, let's say, durable goods, yes, people consume more of them uh, <coughs> as their income goes up, but they don't, um, but they don't, spend an increasing fra share of their income on durable goods. If it's greater than one, we might talk about it as a superior good or luxury good. So maybe fancy sports cars you're more likely to consume as your income goes, uh, goes up by a lot. Uh, and again, we, the example in long-term historical sp perspective Things like health care and education are what we, as we get richer, we want to spend more of our money on. Um, so there, the percent change in the quantity demanded of health care and education is higher than the percent change in income. So that the income elasticity greater than one. And I think that pretty much says it all about income elasticity of demand.